the Sangian M8 Survivor is a survival radio. It's an emergency piece of kit. It's a standard AM FM radio, but it's got a whole bunch of features built into it, which could be useful in an emergency. It comes in a robust packaging with these rubberized ends to protect it. There is a cover here for the input output sockets and it's a water resistant um, housing. The power is held within this rechargeable a, uh, CR18350 cell and there are different methods for charging up this radio. There's the built-in solar panel which is always charging when it's in light. You don't have to turn the actual radio on. It's continuously charging just ambiently and it will take 15 hours to fully charge the battery in direct sunlight. But of course because it's always charging it's a very unlikely scenario where you'd need to charge up from scratch using the solar panel. There is the dynamo hand crank for charging too. You can turn the handle in either direction clockwise or counterclockwise and one minute of turning will give you approximately five to seven minutes of radio time. When you have access to mains electricity you can charge the battery using the micro USB port. Under this cover you have your micro USB for charging the, uh, the unit and you have the USB out so you can use it as a power bank to charge for example a mobile phone or any other USB chargeable device. Finally an earphones. It has an FM AM receiver you turn on the radio by holding down the power button for a couple of seconds. You can save 19 stations, either AM or FM, uh, to saveable locations. It's a digital screen on it to give you your uh, frequency. And you, it's got auto seek and it's also got manual input for your stations. It's quite a loud radio for its size. and of course it has a digital clock on it. It has an auto power off function that will switch yourself off after 90 minutes just in case you leave it on and you don't want to run the battery down but you can turn that function off. The emergency features built into it are it has a siren there you see the red triangle symbol and you hold that down for three seconds and it will start to emit a uh, emergency beep. Hold it down and turn it off again. It has a built-in flashlight. One click will turn it on to its highest strength. The second click will put it down to uh, moonlight mode. Then another click will make it regularly flash. The flashing mode is very good if you want to draw attention. It will also save the battery. Uh, greatly in, in flashing mode as opposed to having it continuously on. And finally, the final press of the, the light button will put it into SOS Morse code blink. The flashlight design is of a broad flood type. Uh, basically speaking, flashlights it can either direct the light in a tight beam and you get a long reach or in a wide flood. This flashlight gives you a wide flood so it's very good for illuminating a large area or a dark room which is ideal for the survival nature of this device. The Sanjian is very well built and of course this radio has got just its everyday uh, utility as a radio, as a flashlight, uh, as a power bank but in an emergency situation when you need communications this is going to be a reliable piece of kit.